Hi, I'm Janet Ingall, the five minute read maker. Today I'm going to be talking about uh, the last four or five, depending on how you count them, shapers that I own. Um, and I'm going to be talking about the templates specifically that I have for this reads and stuff shaping machine. Now, I love this machine, right? Because I can take a piece of cane, slide it right in, lock it down, and then shape a piece of cane in nothing flat, right? It comes out super, super uh, smooth. It comes out very straight, um, and there's really almost no way I can screw it up. Um, it is easy to fold it right in the middle, and then I've got a perfectly shaped piece of cane that takes no time at all. But the downside of this machine um, is choosing the template. There are about a jillion different shaper templates um, listed on the Reads and Stuff website, and many, many of them have names I do not recognize. I presume that they are shapes that feel more familiar to European players. Um, there are shapes that I do recognize, the minus one N, there's a bunch of Mac shapes, there's a Samson, there's a Joshua, um, there's a Lucarelli. Like these are shapes that I, that I know from hearing other people talk about them or from having used myself. But when I've tried those templates, um, I found that the shapes that I actually get from the template are not very accurate to the names of the shapes that I recognize. In other words, I had tried a Samson um, and that really was nothing at all, as far as I could tell, like the Samson that I have and that I use from the Adam Shaper tips. And I tried a couple of different versions of the minus one N um, and in every case they were much, much wider and more flared than I was expecting. I've actually had this conversation with a bunch of different read makers who have also gotten this machine. Everyone loves the machine, it's completely fantastic, but the process of choosing your template is really, really difficult because, again, when you look at a long, long chart of measurements, it's hard to know what that actually really means in terms of the functionality of the finished read. Um, and since the names don't seem to mean what I think they mean. It's really been a process of trial and error. So I am not saying that I have found the very, very best shape um, that he offers, or even the very, very best one for me. I'm just saying that I experimented until I found some things that worked and then I stopped. So I have four uh, templates for my Reads and Stuff Shaper. I have the Leong, the Mac Pfeiffer copy, the Lucarelli, and the Joshua Plus 2. So let me play these down for you real quick. The Liang is probably the widest and most flared of those. this read. I like these uh, these Leong reads. They're charming, they're nice to play. Um, I find that they can get a little bit flabby. I actually have to wind on pretty long. I wind these at 74 in order to get the throat measurement to feel comfortable for me. Um, and then I wind up clipping it fairly far back. I would guess that it's a little bit shorter than most of these others. The Mac Pfeiffer. Um, I'm not really familiar with the uh, original manual version of this shape. Um, I don't know it well, um, but I ordered this one and tried it because of the narrowness of the measurement down in this area, and it turns out that it's so narrow in this area that I actually have to wind these at 72, shorter than normal, to get them to seal it all. Um, sometimes I accidentally overwind them. Like my biggest problem with this MPX shape is that I'm always screwing it up. Uh, either I wind it on, I overwind it and ruin the read that way, or I wind it up and it leaks. Um, but when it actually works and when I successfully make a read out of it, it's pretty nice. Here it is. pretty 
well, right? It sits up to pitch in the upper register and it speaks pretty well in the low register. That's because of the combination of the great narrowness here and the flare up here, which is pretty dramatic. Um, most often I use this shape to, if I'm asked to put a whole batch of very easy reads together, this tends to be what I use. I like it for beginners uh, for exactly those reasons. It holds its pitch up really well without effort and it speaks really easily without effort. I don't usually use it for myself though. Um, this Lucarelli shape, uh, like the original, is very very wide through this area and very uh, sort of square. It's heavy in the belly and throat, in other words, and not very flared at the top, which leads to a really rich sound, but it's a little bit uh, less responsive than I like, I think. This probably reminds me the most of my Ruth shape. Um, just real, real beefy down in this low area um, and satisfying for that reason, but not that useful to me. Um, this is my Joshua 2, which has become very much my standard shape. I use it more than any other. It just feels like it's got a good balance of narrowness with flair. For comparison, I wound up uh, one read from my regular Joshua shape, the uh, hand shape rather than the machine template. Um, this one I find dramatically narrow, maybe even narrower than the minus one N. Um, you know, I can make a read off it, but I don't love it. Here it is. Despite being the narrowest one down here on my table, um, I actually have a little trouble holding it up to pitch up, uh, up in the upper register. It's a little bit less stable than the others and I'm not really sure why. It's been really interesting making these videos. I've actually rediscovered shapes uh, in my collection that I hadn't really used much or hadn't really thought of as being great shapes. I've discovered actually that I like a little bit more flair in my tips than I have been saying I like. Um, feels like uh, in each batch that I've done, um, I've been a little bit surprised by the the qualities of the shapes that have a little more flair at the top and a little bit uh, surprised at some of the shapes that are my standards. Um, so I have definitely learned some things from this experiment and I hope that you have too. I hope this has been helpful. This has been a five minute readmaker lesson. You can follow these short videos right here on YouTube. You can subscribe if you wish. Uh, if you want to reach me for uh, with questions or concerns or to order reads or cane, you can find me at JanetIngle.com. And I hope you do reach out. I would love to know what I can help you with, what my next uh, season's worth of short videos should address for you. And I thank you for watching. Have a great day.